suicide That's how I see it Cause in my eyes You have been warned Tap in the fire One thirty three twenty second visual cues, emotional stimuli, situational supply plus and negative time interactions and triggers. Sequence of thought, conversation, coded language with a time delay on it. Based on the past 15 years of my way of thinking and figuring, it's not that hard to give some kind of an estimate to an individual or to gain one by thought. Three circumstances, three surrounding factors being stranded in. Three main impactive Relationships influenced. Timing being key. Like the asshole's almanac. The only problem is, if I play the perceived notion of the game by any other means than sacrifice and humility or humbleness, There's nothing going to stop me from falling victim to the same masquerade of fraud and deceit that created the image that angers and frustrates me of the fraud and deceit and the people I know and the people close. For 15 to 20 years now, I've been changing minds, impacting the social culture, and doing the best I can to show the proof of influence from the poor guy's perspective. I touched a lot of people with influence and help got in the path that most people with money can't touch. For the past 20 years, I never at any point in time or another had to keep and hold more than a thousand dollars in my pocket at one given time. Bank included. In part, my frustration and anger that the finances are lacking in my life right now and my accomplishments show a scale of should have finances that ranges beyond the average range of guessing or expectancy that would be in a guess when someone sees my life or understands my words, which makes it seem impossible, especially when the people that help transfer the data, because that's all it is that moves this world, to the people in the way that I asked it to be sent, or that the circumstance was molded and used triggers and sequencing to portray the request of and the influence of and the writings being the music and lyrics and ideas for song trackings and 
the writings of the emotional vibrations that stimulate in one's body and mind when they hear and feel something connected to what they believe in, not that they want to believe in or were taught to believe in, but that natural bred instinct that we have. Now, I'm not stupid by any means. I know I'm vulnerable to being manipulated or at least impacted by ways, expressions. I not only dedicated my path in life to a solution to something that I thought was unique to my family. It turns out it wasn't. It's unique to humanity. But I also made everything about my life a vulnerability. One personal thing I would like to add is a fuck you piece of shit motherfuckers to everybody that exploited that already given vulnerability. I've barely raised a voice in five years in defense of the mockery and seeming application of my suggested solutions, which were and would be successful. In being humble and allowing the processes to be effective, But the allies in this circumstance have helped allow my mind after um, showing that vulnerability and expressing the understanding of the way the neuro processes work to the best of my knowledge. I've been helped to maintain a grip. doesn't take away the anger, anxiety, frustration, stress, betrayal, loneliness, curiosities, idealizations that come along with it all. You know, the trying to change the world back to the way it was when those cocksucking piece of shit, two-faced, fucking selfish, fucking pig-headed pieces of shit from the past decided to ignore the obvious signs of bigotry. Blasphemy, segregatory processing, and a self-created narcissistic idealization of power that they could implement in societies. I hear a rut season, bless, um, grunting from a large buck. Several hours tonight, another well-timed asshole almanac maneuver. My mind tonight is definitively cluttered, which means tonight I'm aware of the fact that the goal was to correct my brain's process for me, but that wasn't the solution or the decision in the secondary involvements. Not isolated to, anyway. The betrayal is intentional or unintentional, but it's always there. We're fed bullshit and then we feed it to people like it's the truth and therein the betrayal is always there. The struggle has always been left to be there. With goodness tied so deeply into the factors, but the lack of awareness of the fact that one euphoria-driven individual can poison the whole room with a false sense of happiness, which is the case in this world. They create false implementation of dreams and individual characteristics and circumstances. And while we all live it, they sit and figure out hours of ways that they can play on it and exploit control. 
Who are they? Every fucking body. Anybody that owns a social business. Anybody that owns a store that sells retail. Everybody takes advantage of somebody else's manipulative marketing as to not have to do it themselves. And to not have to put the work out to reinvest in stabilized marketing that balances the secretion of shit that our minds processes as fact. It's not difficult to understand, but it's hard to accept how broad it goes. Now, I've proven it by the positive interpretation of being applied touched millions of people with brief moments of interaction that still travels to this day via word of mouth music influence of music on interactive comparatives that tie in to then which would be the next influence They tried to use what they know human beings will stabilize themselves with as the reason the individuals are struggling. So the closer one gets to opening their mind and and mouth to the truth after finally, with me, 16 years of dealing with something I wanted to express, within my household. In the societal household is no different as far as to say they take something of comfort and make it unavailable. This in itself, any mechanical or neuromechanical sequence will stop if someone does that. If they break too many patterns and sequences of comfort without a transitional phase of positivity, it will destroy bits and pieces of an individual's mind's processor or processing sequence. They can create and cause multiple scenarios of what seems to be a certain way. It's an addiction problem. It's a manifestation of an early range anchor structure. It's a chemical imbalance, etc., etc. Not many people grasp the depth of all of it in its simplicity. You don't drink enough water during the day, you have a chemical imbalance. They like to shock with the impact of words. But what they don't like to do is change this fucked up system of social approach we live in. And they give us an option and call it free speech while taking rights away in its place. Now, who are they? (laughs) My life's examples. I've lived in Jolton, Tennessee. I've lived in Wilmington, Delaware, slash Dover, Delaware. One or two other places for a brief period of time, but those are the only two fucking places I've ever really lived long term. So, you would assume it's just simply the people interacting in the social community. But the smarter you get and the quicker you process the truth, you'll realize that that's not the case. But before the gangs and the groups and the social communions and fake dick-sucking-ass church formats started to broaden their scale, everywhere you stepped, every flag you tried to put down, someone before any of us were born that are listening or speaking through this understanding, already had that mapped out. 
So just remember, I am fully fucking aware that the tree falls in the woods, makes a sound. Because the knowledge of the fact that the tree fell and the knowledge of the truth that a tree falling makes a sound makes me a little bit smarter than to sit and suck on that fucking question while the world goes to shit. The influence of the suffering that I deal with and tolerate has little to do with real life, has a lot to do with societal influence and social matter. Money is a key thing in society, right? Because we have to keep everybody appeased, not fed, comforted, mentally stable, you know, just financially appeased because you're fucking pussies. Now all the laymen and people like me and friends and family, forgive me for speaking so abruptly back and forth to the chain of command in different structures, military factors, government positions, friends and family. But to me, it's friends and family, military, military structures, government factors, church fundamentals, and politics. You see what I'm saying? Friends and family. And human beings all over the world that are dumb, blind, or dissonant to it. I still love y'all. But you cocksucking piece of shit, politicians, religious fucking succubent pieces of shit, and everybody else in the world that goes blindly through it, driving the propaganda of truth and stating that, you know, you just got to keep toughing it out and all the other cliche sayings. Fuck you and every single process of deceit that's led you to be the piece of shit you are. I stress out, I reach out to family who don't get me wrong. They ain't all clean in this. But I reach out to family and I try to express my emotions. I went through the 50 steps of this group, this person, this way, this therapy, this, 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 this. My whole fucking 15 years of my life wasted. Because you big picture prick cock sucking piece of shit motherfuckers fed them and their naive, compassionate, driven, want to help way all these scales of things. So I beat that dumb shit. I beat your lies about God and church and religion, me and millions of other people. Half of them probably dead. Now, they they accidentally continue your work. They hate other people for the wrong reasons. They run their fucking cocksucker for the wrong reasons. They don't stand up for the right things. They feel complete and honored to be leveled out when they're not fucking leveled out at all. And then when someone like me tries to stand up, I hope that transition was as smoothly as it doesn't seem like it was in my head, but when we try to stand up just to breathe, just to live, just to experience life and say, you know what, I'm not going to worry about any of that, you realize that there is truly a fight to experience things that it's our right in humanity to live. Somebody put the term society on this shit. And all of a sudden, all the rules changed. We update everything. Cell phones, water systems, filtration systems, statistics. But we haven't updated laws, legal formats, or human rights in years. Decades. Centuries. Since your fake-ass God spoke through somebody else... Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. So, on that excerpt, let me go back to what I was saying. You reach out and you look to your family and your friends and you, you look to better financial career choices. You look to ways to make money and then you start saying, all right, you know what, fuck that group of people. Because I got I to gotta get my, I got to get past it. When you grind something, it takes more away than was there before, right? 
So when you all go out there and get on your motherfucking grind, realize that it's the planet and humanity that you're grinding away. And your fucking mental health and your fucking body's physical health, which we're only here for a limited time anyway. So you go to your family and your friends and you get, if you're me, you get 15 years of change your process, change your way. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Then you prove them wrong. And then they tell you you're wrong and start milking that shit about that shit to prove you're wrong about being wrong when you know you're right and they know you're right. And then you realize that every form of... of, of normal pathways to solutions are blocked and redirected. You notice techniques and and triggers to make something seem a certain way or make you feel better or pretend it's not a complication or cover somebody's ass and, you know, the bullshit that is and what was told. Some people weren't lucky enough to have friends and family and then the truth just kind of dies in the fact that nobody's going to tell you the truth, really. So then you get rational and you can start to explain where your flaws were and and what changed in life. And you stop asking people. And either you A, suffer, or B, you adapt to something that's fucked up. You sell people shit they don't want. You work on shit that's polluting the world we shouldn't even have. Or you modify documentation and political-driven formats and corrupt things in a subliminal way. You don't even know you're corrupting. And you become part of what people like me are trying to prevent from existing in the social world. See, because I'm not really, I'm not the kind of person to look in the mirror and be like, oh, I don't feel well, let me take care of myself. I look in the mirror and I think, damn, I don't feel well. Why don't I feel well? Was it something I ate? Because other people ate what I ate. You know, I'm feeling kind of fucked up about this. And this just happened to me. How many other people is this happening to? You know, family, uh, I'm dealing with this. And it's not this. And it's not the addiction thing. It's not what they think it is. It's this. No, no, that's not likely. That's not likely. It's more likely there's a problem within you than a problem within everybody. And then I go through statistical averages and show historical references and point all the shit out. And dissonance is still there. Nope. It's got to be you. It can't be the fact that there's supposed to be one God, but there's 460 versions of them spoken by people that argue with each other and cause wars. 460 different God types from the one God. You think God's that fucking stupid in your sick fucking twisted head? You think he's stupid enough to let 460 people lie to humanity and convince them that there's another God like that one? No, only people are that stupid and that creative. So what's my point to all this, right? How do I connect it all? All those theories and nothing is what it seems in the world were true. But the explanations made it seem like Area 51 fucking matters. It might to put you know, a smile on your face and help your dissonance and disillusionment have a good day. But I don't think many people know what it feels like to be rich as fuck Bob Marley style while financially being equally as rich and socially as rich and knowledgeably as rich and a bunch of dumb dick sucking ass piece of shit fucking people continue to build a false life around you that makes what you have found as the way to be invalid even though it's true. I got to wake up and remind myself every day that I'm living in the country that in 1770-something bought and sold people to build itself 
under governed control. While in 2019, 2020, we still buy and sell people under the same premise, but we've over-industrialized, so we don't need people for physical labor anymore. So we just tuck those people in areas of life they can't get out of to speak the truth and take knowledge from them so they can't put two and two together. While destabilizing the comfortability of mental mechanics and the other people and making it look like a mental health motherfucking issue. The only mental health issue in this motherfucking world is piece of shit, dick sucking ass, backstabbing bigot motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about anything but the 100,000 people just like them. Ruining the truth that's fed to everybody still. Not the old books from the 80s when they started talking about, you know, textbooks were wrong and blah, blah, blah. So I, I listened. So I started going to libraries and checking the points of reference in like 92. And they were right. So I kept feeding the truth to myself. And these same piece of shit fucking people have created this false image, this disillusionment of the world around us. And now people strive to complete it. Parents turn on kids and, and go feed them medicine or doctor appointments instead of going at the source of the problem with them. Because everybody's afraid that there's nothing they could do about it. Because everybody for years that was defeated, you know, in our country, primarily after the Great Depression, that was kind of it. That was it. That's why me and D, you know, that was that pair. In 1776... Y'all had a chance and you fucked it up. You thought more about building your fucking piece of shit country than you did the people in it you were ruining that cared more about the country than you fucking did. Like me. Yeah, me. You piece of shit. Whoever you are, wherever you are. I'd like to find all the grave sites from all those people that everybody runs around in honor and go piss on all of them any fucking chance I get. Because the truth is, the dignity we thought we had was a lie. And the fight for the past 15 years of my life to restabilize a truth in that, for me, that I understood connected to every other human being, whether I wanted it to or not. People I, I, would, I would kick in the fucking throat if I had a chance to. I'm still trying to find a way to get their life set too. But the world we live in is made of lies and so strongly defined with pride connected to those lies that we kill the truth every chance we get in order to keep the illusion we live and the fake smile on our motherfucking face every day. Fake it till you make it, you know, that bullshit. I'm not saying walk around miserable and hate. I'm saying hate the right motherfuckers thoroughly and through. I'm not talking about these little minion piece of shit motherfuckers that run around with half knowledge talking shit about shit that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about following the leader down the wrong path. I'm talking about the people that still intentionally initiate the segregatory control oriented philosophies of neuro programming in our fucking country. <coughs> the same people that are afraid that the 400 plus bands and musical impact, just like in the cotton fields back in the day, is just as strong from someone like me today as it was back then. Because they know we're going to come and rip the fucking heads off. Now, a lot of baseball, football, sports Musician, anybody in the hundreds, you know, hundreds of thousands, a million dollars a year brackets, we need to start saying, I care more about the people than the money. Because if they keep giving it to you and you keep taking it, it's a fucking payoff. And motherfuckers will lie and cheat and steal. And it's not even the truth that they're lying and cheating and stealing for. So 
So I was playing my guitar, and I hit on a couple nerves in myself in my head when I was trying to write. And I heard some of the tracks that I previously did that I have to remind myself that I had already done that part and recorded that part before years ago, et cetera, et cetera, to not overlayer the, the creative writing processes. And it just infuriates me every day that I got so honorably lucky with the things in my life and the people in my life that influenced me and helped culture this fucking stone that I was into a mineral worth calling something, you know what I mean? And no matter how I look at how to improve my day and my way of thinking and my way of not being critical and how I try to respect the fact that people, you know, feel like they need things in life. So when they cut people short or, or, uh, you know, they give less for the more that a person has less to offer versus more to the person that has less to offer because that's the fucking obvious way it's supposed to be. You know, I was going to play professional baseball until I fucked up my arm early on, right? I, I'm, I'm not thinking I was. I would have. It's kind of been accepted as a fact. Right. I got blamed back then for knowing better than to try to pursue something I wasn't going to be able to accomplish because I knew my arm was fucked, but nobody else did. And I realized that if I did make it, this suggestion that I'm making now for part of our solution process, somebody's just too fucking dense to see as a solution. Like, if you make more than a million dollars a year, you should be giving two people that can't ever work again $100,000 a year each. You look at how many sports players make that much money, and you look at how many people are on disability or can't work, literally, and that covers that debt. Then you take homelessness and you look at people that make five million or more a year and you do the same thing there and, and it kills off homelessness. This is like the fifth example of a simple fucking positive pyramid scheme that solves the problems that everybody runs around saying it's too big of a problem to solve because you got a dick in your fucking mouth all day. And the point is, if you pretend the money doesn't fucking matter that much and you give it to people that need it when you have it, it spreads around. But some piece of shit, cocksucking, juvenile, delinquent minded, smash their motherfucking face if you ever see them for me, please. Thank you. Piece of shit. I say that. Pussy motherfucker is putting a billion dollars a day out on the table for people and making them fight over it. Of course, you're going to lie to each other. Of course, you're going to leverage your neighbor. Of course you're going to process the process of that fake ass Ten Commandment bullshit some king wrote or some pauper wrote trying to not get killed by a king. Of course we're going to go against all that to fight for that everything we wake up every day to go and do. And I'm, When's the last time one of you motherfuckers woke up and just lived and didn't try to make any money? Because it's inbred, it's embedded in all of us. It's important, it's important. Now, some are very lucky to do what they love and to make the money, but take the money out of the picture and watch what happens. Then they won't let you afford to do it. But family and friends still through and through, some of them just stuck in just to stick in with me, but it's worth it now because we found the fucking light. The same light that others have found, that the people kept snuffing out on them. Snuff. Cordy, what up, dude? That's a human tangent. I have them, you know? That rational sense of, why am I even talking to this motherfucking camera knowing I'm going to post this shit? And it's probably a repeat of the 70 fucking hours a week I used to post. For what? Oh yeah, for thank you for the successful accomplishments. Everybody involved, always. But you piece of shit motherfuckers, you're not dead yet. So I'm not happy. I had this talk with my mom earlier tonight. Hey mom, could you shoot me? No. I could shoot you. 
And we had that talk in the past, so she wasn't shocked and all like, oh my God, my son, because she understood what I meant. Don't judge me, motherfucker. If my mom was dying and she was going to suffer, I'm going to shoot her. So I don't care what you say. If you won't kill me, if I need you to, don't fuck with me. Example A, little homie, 6'9". Everybody fed on his career. Everybody fed on his demise, which you think is his demise, which you'll dumbass. And for what? Because if anybody knew that was getting ready to happen to him, they should have put him out the process before it could have. Then you're going to blame him for spitting blood when they squeeze him hard. Man, we aren't fucking super people. We're human beings. You fucked him. He's not fucking you. He's trying to unfuck himself because you fucked him. But none of it's what it seems. So I'm not stressed for him. Always love. But it just shows that It shows that we are forced every day to become more of something that takes away from what we naturally are. I want, just think about that. If there is a God, there's not. But if there was, we would be failing him. Her, it, the game, the mind, the human being, or the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right now, the God that does exist in the political beast and, and memory of humanity and blah, blah, blah. All the years of striving towards future advancement and blah, blah, blah. That bullshit is dick sucking classified God. Our government, other governments. What I'm doing right now is struggling to try to remember every phase of the reestablished neuroconnectivity to truth that has been given to me and trying to figure out how I'm supposed to say what I'm trying to say to get through to people in a way that all however many variables of stereotypical stages of my development and other people's, I, I have to say it in a way that's going to impact all of them in a positive chain. You know what I mean? And that complexity is, is set there on purpose to make sure that by the time somebody started to spread the truth, that they could cut it off before they got a chance to. The reason I asked my mom that question was because somewhere along the way in life, somebody had a choice. And they blamed it on human compassion and, and something else. And they didn't kill that motherfucker. And our world sucks like it does now because of it. Somebody in, in whatever medieval time or whatever had a chance to cut that bitch's throat. And they didn't. Don't ever let that shit happen again in our society. If there's a chance to take the head off the snake for real, don't run around killing the snakes. Don't be fucking stupid. Take it. But right now, they got everybody overstressed and overzealous about accomplishing things, thinking if they blow up a school, it's going to send enough of a ripple to make a change. Because that's what they do to get us to donate millions of dollars a day with their fraudulent bullshit. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if they really wanted help for funding, you don't put it on a TV commercial where a motherfucker on average can barely afford cable. 
and tell them to donate a dollar a day, you go to the heavy hitters and they solve the problem with a phone call and a transfer. Took me years to realize that. So back to my point again, because there's a lot to say in a short period of time. It always fucks me up how to condense it to the different 60 personality spectrums of, of, of acknowledgement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then after I asked that question and we had that talk that I'm, I'm kind of going over now, she said, well, what do we do about it? And I'm sorry, that's what led to it. What do we do about it? That's when I said it's not really what we do about it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it's finding the problem that keeps feeding the lies, cut the head off the snake, and then slowly and, and, and truly influence the, the societal factor with, with what's real. Instagram, most people are fake. Facebook, most people are fake. When you ask people about it, they're like, man, that's Instagram and Facebook. I'm not going to be real on there. People know our business. Bitch, do you fucking know we live in a society where I can find out any fucking thing I want about anybody for twenty nine ninety nine? You think motherfuckers are only fake on Instagram and Facebook? You need to look around. People are fake to make money. People are fake to make friends. People are fake to get pussy. People are fake to get a dick. People are fake to have kids. People are fake to their family. People are fake to be themselves. Period. And if you think for a second that's mental health or that's individual people's problems that the entire world suffers from a sickness of fake to be yourself, you got a fucking bigger problem than I got. And I'm trying to wake you the fuck up. Brrr, hello, motherfucker. Brrr, wake the fuck up. Brrr, you hear that motherfucker ringing? Check calling. Fucking humanity's calling. You make more than a million dollars a year. Find somebody that makes nothing or needs help. And give them a hundred thousand a year. And do that until you can't live on what you give down to. So if you make a million, take on. And you can deal with five hundred thousand. Let me see you man the fuck up. Woman the fuck up. And save five people. That's five to one. On statistical average, that covers the old folks. Bless. That covers fucking... guessing probably close to mental health and physical handicaps and fuck the government's funding fuck them telling us it's not enough we can't do this we can't do that we as a society already make enough money to help everybody in the society if we start doing it they can't tell us we can't or it won't work just fucking do it and by the way no names mentioned right in this moment, but I guarantee fucking T you that there's between a million and fifty million dollars a month made that I haven't seen a penny of. So either somebody fucked me and didn't do that with that which I asked to be done, or it's already proven effective for the past possibly ten years to fifteen solid. So I know I'm right and I know it works. And yeah, I look like a piece of shit because I never have any money and I'm always seemingly bumming money from somebody. But I'm pretty sure if I'm correct that there is a lot of people sitting somewhere at any given time that will tell you, yo, you got some shit fucked up about that dude right there. And you know what? I know that when I look in the mirror, I got it fucked up about that dude right there too. So I already know the guilt y'all carry. I already know the burden y'all carry in critical judgment and false understanding of truth. I'm just trying to figure out how I can continue forgiving motherfuckers instead of getting rid of motherfuckers, which feels like the more natural thing to do based on how our world's run. I usually get stressed and argue with somebody, not argue at first, 
But I try to talk to them about it, and they're like, I don't know. We can't do anything about it. Let's just do this, or let's just do that, or let's not talk about this. Or they get bent on some dumb shit when I tell them God's a fake-ass piece of shit mechanical process of somebody's brain. Ain't even fucking real. And then they get mad at me because I'm trying to draw them from that fake fucking illusion like you think Ronald McDonald's a real motherfucker? You think Santa Claus is a real motherfucker too? You think that little rabbit in the yard jumps up, grabs a basket, puts some eggs in it, and takes around presents for the kids? Y'all stupid as fuck you believe anything close to that. What you do believe is there's something that makes you happy no matter what that seems like it don't cost you nothing. Well, all of those things cost you hundreds of millions of dollars per holiday per year. In the same society that's driven by homelessness, PTSD, just from social existence. Not to mention false prosecutions. Fake motherfucking jail terms for people that shouldn't even be in jail. And societal acceptance of ways of life that are unforgivable for people to have to go through. Yo, and don't think at all that they were stupid in making sure it stayed a race, color, and finance thing. Because the average human being is so fucking dissonant to it that they will argue the topic right past the doorway that led us out of the topic forever. And I do it. I'll be bugging about hundreds of millions of dollars. Real shit. And then somebody be like, yo, I'm going to send you 50 bucks. Go get yourself, you know, something to smoke on. Chill the fuck out and hang out for a little bit. Hundreds of times, little did I know, had I got to the door instead, I'd have opened it and led right to the, to the, to the, to, to me, what was the money, which is the people and the places and the experience that are documented that it has been and will be my life. And that was one of the things I earlier said, and I'm going to end it with this. We bribe each other every day to do things we don't want to do. You know, some people I know get mad at me because I'm like, you a fucking hoe. I'm not a hoe. I don't fuck anybody. And I, I call a dude a whore too. And, uh, we know it, it, and they don't rationally get the fact that when you wake up, you go to your phone or you go to work or you check it. It's all about moving things forward to stack more money. Not to live. Not to solve a problem. We are bought and sold and fed the recycled continual pattern of mental thought Based on, oh, there's a dollar there. This is how I have to think to get it. Now that's how we think. Even the people that sell those marketing plans and real estate plans. Here's a dollar. Think this way. And this is how we get it. Well, start looking at looking at those processes of how you attain money. And if you can't trail your dollar back to at least two or three feet, somebody had to step on in order for that money to get where it was going then you ain't looking at it right and call me and you need some help trying to, to to show the truth about what we all actually do every day when we get up and go make money. We rip each other off. We lie to each other. We think about ourselves first and we don't give a shit about what we're sacrificing. And that's clear in every statistic across the board. What to do about it? Why am I saying this? What does it matter? Wake the fuck up. And that's exactly what was said to me years back when I finally woke the fuck up. By so many people you wouldn't believe. Better cars, better houses, better lives, better jobs, better sex toys, better plumbing equipment, better welders... 
better everything except a better fucking life and better ways of thinking and better personality traits and better social interaction formulas. In fact, I don't know why there's anything available for us day to day as if we're not all criminals any fucking way in the social world. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure why anything is available other than restabilizing the societal. That's it. I'm sorry, I'm not a politician. As of right now, technically, I don't have any money to my name. That's not true, technically, but accessible without complication of my own mind or someone else's. I don't have any written, documented degrees from establishments that technically you could basically buy a degree, you know? But I do have one thing. It's fucking experience. Experience in all the example factors. Experience in hunting down the statistical facts and truths. And the people that were willing to show me things you don't have the cred to see ever in most cases. Update time, people. Laws. Truths about what our brain needs and doesn't. What animals think and feel aside from just the human animals. Facts about money being nothing but a leverage technique to exploit the earth under the privilege of power of control and slavery that used to be by force but now is by manipulation of the mind. They aren't jokes. They're not scams. They're not conspiracy theorists. They're just people that don't know how to say it in a way that you'll believe them because the way they were given to say it, you won't, and somebody counts on that. I don't know what else to fucking do right now, so I'm getting done with this video, and I'm going to post this motherfucker and be slightly embarrassed and slightly not, and then some dick-sucking piece of shit might try to take me back to the paradigm shift in orientation to when I first spoke these things or... And watch out for that dumb shit too, that role playing and talking like other people. And when they see somebody else, but it's through you in the room and they're behind you, then they talk like that person and let you know they're there. And all... Man, fuck all that shit, dude. Don't let them get you talking twisted language in order to, to exist without them having knowledge of what you're doing. Because as soon as they hear you speak that way and they know what you're speaking, they're go they already got you. You're done. You know what I mean?